There's no denying it, Nike SB Dunks look super sleek. They also wear really well too. And what I mean is that they fit really nicely for wider feet. They are super comfy and overall, they just like style really well as well. But the main thing about them is the SB in the name and that is for skateboarding. And overall, the Nike SB Dunks do skate pretty well. The main thing that I look for in an alternative to a Nike SB Dunk is mainly like the look, the feel and how they escape. Though in recent times they've been super duper hard to get due to factors like hype beasts and all these times, different co collabs and stuff, supply and demand and things like that, which is a bit disappointing by Nike. Though in saying that, the highs are quite easy or easier to get now. Though in today's video, I'm gonna go over my alternatives for skateboarding to the Nike SB Dunk. And also, my full review to all the shoes that I cover today will be down in the comments below because I've skated all of these but one cheeky little bonus at the end. But let's not waste any more time and get into the first one. Possibly one of my favorite shoes of 2023, and that's the DC Manteca 4. These have that classic early 2000s skate style. They have been re-released by DC Shoes, and they are coming out of a huge range of colorways. There is also two different versions of these. You got the leather version and the super suede finish. These look great and feel great on foot. They fit in a medium to wider foot, or well, that's what I found anyway, and they skate pretty good in my opinion. They come in at around $110 and $120 AUD, AUD. And like I mentioned, there is no shortage of colorways being dropped. On to number two, and that's the Converse AS1, which I've just been recently skating. Loosely styled on a dunk, they drew on inspo from the basketball and retro era for, the, for these shoes. Also another new shoe to hit the market in 2023. They are dropping a whole bunch of new colorways. And you got the leather version as well, as long with the suede version. And these are just look, these look super nice overall and I just really enjoy these so far. Same as the Manteca 4, I found these to fit medium to wider feet and they loosened up over time, especially around the toe box. The durability is a whole lot better than the Dunk and the only rubber patch that they've inserted in the shoe is a really great idea. The only thing I guess the AS1 missing is a bulkier heel collar and an Achilles lock but if you find that annoying on a Dunk, you'll love these. I labeled these as a slim down budget Dunk and that's exactly what the Nike Force 58 is. I found a lot of the shoe was very like a dunk. It's nice that they kept the Achilles lock on these, but a lot of people at the park would say, hey, nice dunks, but they definitely were not. They are a whole lot cheaper at 110 AUD, at 110 AUD and there's plenty of colorways out there as well, both in leather and suede. I find that they actually fit that little bit tighter than a normal dunk, though they do fit my medium to wider feet still well, but just that little bit snugger, but one thing that the shoe really lacks is impact protection. The sole sucks, insole sucks. So if you want to go through it, I'll rip it straight out and replace it with your own one. The Trader is the same as the Niger Pro model shoes and did a good job overall. Probably wore down a little bit quicker than I thought. But overall, for the price of these, they're a really good skate shoe. This is like the little bonus one because like I know personally I haven't skated them and I know people down in the comments will probably mention them and that is the Lakai Telford. To be honest, I can't really say too much of them, like too much about them because I've never actually skated them. I have tried them on on skate shops though and I did find them a little bit too narrow for me. Maybe I could go out there and go up a side, like go up a size or something, but they'll really tie around that four foot on my foot, like just where my toes are. So I don't know if it's like a lacing issue or something like that. If anyone's skated these shoes, make sure to leave some feedback and comments, feedback and all that type of stuff in the comments below, especially about the width issue, because I don't know, first impressions for me personally that I found these shoes were too narrow for my foot, which is actually quite a bit of a shame because I reckon these shoes look really cool, especially the lows. I'm not a fan of highs in general personally, but the lows look really nice. And like, you do see a lot of Japanese skaters wearing them and skating them and they look, like, they look super sleek. When it comes down to it, there won't be any replacing a Nike SB Dunk style wise. They are iconic. Maybe a Jordan 1 is close, but skating wise, there are a few alternatives out there in my, in my opinion. And I didn't cover a Jordan 1 because I don't know why. They're just, they're a stiffer shoe. They're really made for basketball, but I have skated them before and they hold up really well while skating. And I actually do see Yuto skate them too. Due to the price and availability of like the Nike SB Dunk, I reckon that you find like any of these alternatives will be a really good alternative to skate in for uh, skateboarding that's like kind of like an SB Dunk. Even the Jordan 1 though, they're about $160 AUD. Same with the Converse and the Lakai's, they're the same price point too. But for the Converse, I'd really highly recommend that shoe because for the same price, the longevity in, out of the shoe, I found them a lot more durable. They skated really well too, which they are, like overall, in my opinion, probably 
probably a better shoe skatability wise. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you skated any of these shoes and stuff like that? Have you found yourself like a little nice alternative to a Nike SB Dunk. I do actually love Nike SB Dunks. I love the way they wear, the style. They're overall a really comfortable shoe and they don't skate too bad as well. But there are some great alternatives out there as well. But you are just missing that clout factor of skating in Nike SB Dunks. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a little cheeky like on the video. That's, that's free and really much appreciated. And until the next video, hope you guys kill it and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.